Welcome to Eat, Pray, Plan. I'm Rebecca. I'm a wife, a homeschool mom to two adventurous boys, and I plan our lives one sticker at a time. In this video, I'm gonna share with you some tips and tricks that have helped me plan a happy life in hopes that they can help you too. So if you wanna see how I do that, come plan with me. Hello again. Thank you so much for coming back for video number two of this weekend. I had to film two videos because I've been wanting to talk to you about uh, my planning tools. And I figured sometimes when I have an idea for a YouTube video, I'd rather just uh, film it when I'm inspired and when I'm excited because I don't know, you need to run on inspiration sometimes because if not, then it goes away and then it doesn't come across as natural. So that is why you're getting two videos this weekend. And I am so excited to share these tools with you because I have gotten a few questions regarding these tools on different occasions. So I just figured why not put them all together and share with you what um, planning accessories. I kept saying tools because I kept looking at my favorite little tool here, but they're planner accessories. I am sharing with you today in this video my favorite planner accessories. So if you're watching this video, this video is being filmed in uh, at the beginning of September. So uh, things may change if you watch this, you know, at a later time. But as of today, the beginning of September, these have been my favorite planning accessories. Okay, so let's get started. Let's get started with something really simple. But if you are uh, a planner, you know how important it is to have a good pen. So again, all this, everything that I'm sharing, it's obviously my personal opinion, my preference. So for me, right now, the pen that I love is the Uniball Signo 307. Uh, it is, it, it's in um, black ink. And I'm going to share with you, because I'm gonna also do um, swatches of my favorite highlighters. So let's, I'm gonna show you um, how it writes. Okay, so I love how this pen writes because it is a fine tip. So if you do like fine tips, I do recommend this. I got them on Amazon. So I got them in a pack. So they come like this. I ordered another pack. I don't know you guys because I get nervous sometimes that they're gonna discontinue some of my favorite things. So I just start hoarding them. So I do, they come in a pack of five and um, I did purchase them on Amazon. I will link everything in the description box below. And um, yeah, so this is the pen that I use in my planner. And when you see my after the pens, this is the pen that I use. It's the Uniball Signo. Okay, so let's keep going. Uh, these favorites are in no order at all, but since we're talking about pens, Let's talk about markers, right? So I have been using for months now, for a while since I started, uh, you know, in the minimal planner community, I saw a lot of people use these dual brush pens as um, highlighters. Now, when I was practicing my hand lettering, I did uh, purchase, um, a pack of these, but there were the bright colors. I had no idea that the neutral soft tones existed. So my first pack was um, was the portrait pack. So I don't have them all here handy, uh, but it comes in a full pack and it is, uh, it is all like portrait colors. Yeah, no, let me see, hold on, let me see. Oh yeah, I have them here, okay. So here, so I have them here. So it comes uh, with all these like different shades of colors. And this was my first pack of dual brush pens 
for highlighting purposes. So after I started using those, I was hooked. And then I bought a few others. So I bought this one and this one, which are more on the gray tones and then the pink ones. So I'm gonna swatch right now for you my favorites. So let me just move them like this so you can see them. And if you wanna get a screenshot or take a picture, you can. There you go. But I am going to swatch these right here for you so you can see uh, the color. I absolutely love these, you guys. And I do use them over this pen. So I, um, I write and then I highlight very softly. Like I don't put a lot of pressure because if I do put a lot of pressure, it will smear. And then sometimes I just highlight first and then write. So I have found that with the Uniball Signo, with this one, I can directly write over the highlighted portion. And I'm sorry, I can highlight over the pen and it won't smear, but do not put too much pressure because these are dual brush pens. So it has the brush tip and then it has a marker tip. Uh, so when you do use this one, so let me show you here, let's start swatching. So this one is the first one. So you go like this, so don't put a lot of pressure. Like if you do use these for hand lettering, you do need to put pressure when you do your strokes, but for highlighting purposes, don't put a lot of pressure because then if you do put a lot of pressure, it will smear. Uh, but if not, um, if you don't, then it won't. Okay, so this is the first one. It is N89. So N89 is this shade right here. Then let's do the other gray, which is N95. So they're very similar. Um, I don't know if it will come across on video, but this one is a cooler tone and this one's more of a warm, of a warmer gray. N95. Now, like I said before, you can find these on Amazon and also Michaels. So for example, with the gray tones, I didn't want the entire pack. So I just went to Michaels and I picked up these two. Okay, so this one is one of, this is, I think this, I think my most, like if, you, if I had to pick two that are my favorite are these two. So N89 and N90, and I'm sorry, N89 and 942. These are my absolute favorite two of the whole, you know, all the soft tones, neutral Tombow pens. So this one is N94. I'm sorry, I keep saying N is 942. Now we're close. Okay, this is another one that it's in this family of, you know, it's kind of like a soft skin tone, uh, like um, pinkish skin tone, and it would be 990. So these did come in the portrait mode in the portrait mode <laughs> these these came in the portrait pack oh my goodness you guys so they are the different skin tones and um i have picked a few of the ones that i like and those are the ones that i use in my planner so this one is 990 and then last but not least is this pink one and it's 850. So these are the five brush, the five highlighters, dual brush pens by Tombow that I use in my planner and I absolutely love them. I love them, I am obsessed. <laughs> okay, so next, let's put this aside and Let's keep this little guy here because I want to talk to you about sticky notes. So I love these sticky notes. These are from Cloth and Paper, but I actually like these new ones. So I like these little hexagons, these small little circles, oh no, and the, these bigger ones. And then I am really loving this one, the one that has the 
the highlighted area at the top and then it's dot grid so you can write in them and your handwriting will be uh, will be straight so I'm gonna share with you how I use them so I use them to pre-plan or to just write down reminders that I don't necessarily want to have in my planner so for example right here on, in October I used it to just remind me that I need to cancel uh, the free trial or I need to sign up for this online learning program for the boys so that's how I use them but I just love the colors and I love how different they are because I don't know I had never seen these <laughs> I had never seen hexagon sticky notes or like these little tiny circles at least not in these colors so I am really loving these uh, fun sticky notes by cloth and paper. So I did get these in my subscription box, but you can purchase them separately on her website. Okay, next, what is next? Okay, let's talk about Ollie Clips. So a, I first heard of Ollie Clips when I started following, oh, look at this. So they are, <laughs> they're magnetic, obviously. So I first heard about Ollie Clips when I started following uh, some minimal planner accounts. And these are clips, but they're really strong magnetic clips. Let me see if it'll, they're super strong. Did you guys hear that? There you go. So um, they're sold on Etsy and whoa, <laughs> it went away. They're sold on Etsy, look at that. They're sold on Etsy and she has different sizes. So these are the small and different colors and these are the large. She also has jumbo, so they're even bigger. So I use them a few different ways. So here I use it as uh, decoration in my planner. I also use them for right now, I've been using them to just clip together my past uh, planner pages until I find a better system that will just, I'll, I'll be able to keep them all together. So I use them like that in my, um, to just store my old um, inserts. And then I also use them as bookmarks. So because they are magnetic and it's a strong magnet, it will keep a lot of pages together. So I also like using it as a bookmark and then in my homeschool planner, I just use it to clip um, to clip important documents or papers that I need to have handy so I won't forget. So these are just some of the few ways that I use um, all the clips. Look at that, you guys. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> so yeah, they are really, really strong magnets. Do not keep them next to next to your credit cards and debit cards. So that is why I used to keep, whoa, I used to keep one in my pocket planner, which was the one that had my credit cards, but then I took it out just because I have heard that it can mess up with your card, with your card because it is a magnet. And um, yeah, so, so those are the Ollie clips that I love, that I'm loving right now. And then uh, let's just do a two in one because I can't talk about accessories without talking about stickers and talking about my favorite planning tool. So I know I said five, but let's, let's you know, th this is a two in one because they're my favorite. So when it comes to accessories, you know by now that I love stickers, but right now I am really loving minimal functional little labels. So these are from uh, Paper Panda. I have also discovered Planner Fluent, which I have talked about that shop in a previous video. And I have yet to place an order because those you can also customize those. So I'm still trying to figure out what labels I wanna have, but I am loving these from uh, Paper Panda. So the quality is great. And if you do follow me on Instagram, you've seen that I use them all the time in my planners. So here is just, let me see an example. Here's the payday one. And then in my weekly, 
the to do, the birthdays, and then in my daily, have I used them? Yes, so here. So I just love the colors. She has a ton of colors. Uh, these are the two that I have. This one is called Nude, and they come in different sets, and this one is Blush. So I am really loving the uh, minimal little labels for my everyday planning. And of course, if you've been here for a while, you know that I can't use any stickers without using my little craft tweezers. So these are from Amazon and they are just that. They're just little craft stickers, tweezers that I use to peel off the sticker and place it in my spread. And the reason why I love using these and I use them all the time is because it is very precise. So sometimes, I don't know, but when you're using smaller stickers, if you use your finger, I don't know, at least for me, it's hard for me to see to put it straight or whatnot. So I do prefer using sticker, using tweezers. And also when you use clear stickers, uh, you can get your fingerprints on them. So I prefer to use tweezers. So these are my favorite planner, uh, planning accessories right now. Let's recap. We have stickers. They will always, always, always be in my favorite, whether it is decorative stickers or functional, the tweezers that I have been using forever. And, uh, then we have sticky notes, but specifically these super fun and different sticky notes and then we have where did my ollie clips go then we have ollie clips which are magnetic clips and the pen that i've been using for a while now the uniball signo and then the tombow dual brush pen but in the soft tones and i use them to highlight okay so this is it these are my current favorite planner accessories and um yeah this is it <laughs> this is my video i hope you liked this video um if you have any questions about these accessories please uh comment below i will link everything in the description box and i will see you next weekend with more videos thank you so much for watching i appreciate you being here taking the time to watch my videos to comment and to like and to subscribe have a wonderful rest of your weekend bye